welcome dear students so today we will discuss the change in combustion chamber design so in the last class we have discussed the different stages of combustion of sc engine knocking in sc engine etc so we are coming to the final topic in sc engine combustion that is combustion chamber design of sc engine so objective of today's session will be us to discuss the design principles of sc engine combustion chambers then and i illustrate the types of sc engine combustion chambers and their merits and demerits so these are the learning objective of today's class So what do you mean by design of combustion chamber? So design of combustion chamber involves three things. The first one is the shape of combustion chamber. So what will be the shape of combustion chamber to be used? And location of spark plug and location of inlet and exhaust valves. So these are the three things we have to take care of in design. and the basic requirement of a good combustion chamber are the high power output so we must able to get high power output and also a high thermal efficiency is required and finally smooth engine combustion so these are the three objectives that should be satisfied while designing a combustion chamber the high power output high thermal efficiency and smooth engine operation so let's check one by one and how to achieve this or what are the steps to achieve this so let's see what are the design principles for a sc engine combustion chamber so for smooth engine operation it requires a moderate rate of pressure rise and an absence of detonation so we will focus on the second point how to reduce the detonation in combustion chamber design so for reduction in knocking can be achieved by first one is the length of flame travel this is very very important the length of flame travel which is the length from the spark plug where flame is developed to the farthest corner of combustion chamber should be as short as possible so this length should not be very very high it should be very very less then another thing we have to take care of is the pockets in which a stagnant gas may collect must be avoided so that means stationary there should not be any area where this air will come to stationary or stagnant such sharp corners etc should be avoided then another important thing we know that the exhaust valve when continuous working will served as a hot surface because the exhaust temperature will be greater than 300 degrees celsius so with the continuous use the exhaust valve will be having a very high temperature so it should not be at the end gas region if it is in the end gas region that is the farthest corner from the spark plug it will induce knocking as well as pre ignition so to avoid that the exhaust valve should be near the spark plug so this point also we have to remember um, important point the exhaust valve should not be placed away from the spark plug it should be near the spark plug an area around spark plug and exhaust valve should be properly cooled and another important point is in the end gas region we should provide a high surface to volume because to increase the heat transfer so that cooling quench space is provided quenching means the quick cooling of end gas so for initiating this quench space we should be able to provide a high surface in the end gas region now what will be the points to obtain high power output and thermal efficiency so already we have discussed what are the points to remember for reduction in knock now these are another two 
conditions we have to satisfy high power and thermal efficiency how to achieve this first one is we have to provide a high degree of turbulence to achieve a high flame front velocity so high degree of turbulence is required then high volumetric efficiency results this thing we already know when volumetric efficiency increases we will get more air and fuel mixture in that cylinder so more power will be we can produce so to achieve this high volumetric efficiency we have to provide a large diameter inlet valves and straight passages with minimum pressure drop so large diameter inlet valves are required straight passages and there should be good scavenging of burnt gas during exhaust stroke and another important thing is to ensure minimum heat flow the surface to volume ratio should be the least so if you take the combustion chamber its surface area to volume ratio should be minimum then only it will decrease the heat loss so that we will get more efficiency So that is why a hemispherical shape provides the least surface area so in the modern engines combustion chamber will be in the shape of hemisphere because of this the hemisphere will have the least surface area in a particular volume so these things also we have to keep in mind while designing a combustion chamber now we will check what are the available sc engine combustion chamber designs so it from the ancient times in the starting of automobiles to the current modern automobiles what are the different types of combustion chamber designs used and what will be their advantages and disadvantages and this combustion chamber development also results in raising the combustion ratio of an engine from 4 to 12 so you know that the earlier engines the ancient engines used in 19th century combustion ratio was only 4 the main reason is beyond 4 there is a violent detonation happening and in the development of combustion chamber we were able to increase this combustion ratio step by step and currently we are using a combustion ratio around 12 so the types of combustion chamber mainly used are t head type l head type f head type and i had type so these are the four types of combustion chamber we are used in automobile so they are named in this their shape so t head shape will be in the shape of an alphabet t similarly l head will be in the shape of an l and f head will be in the shape of an f and finally we have i head type combustion chamber so we will see one by one what are their advantages disadvantages etc so this is a t head combustion chamber so what you can see is it is a shape of a t an inlet valve is on one side of the cylinder while the exhaust valve is on other side and spark plug is just above the exhaust valve so we can see that both the valves here is in the cylinder block so in the cylinder head this is the cylinder head in cylinder head we have only the spark plug so it is the earliest designs used by ford model 1908 model and why it is not or abandoned quickly was it had several disadvantages so you can see the first disadvantage is the flame travel length it is having a very long flame travel length which cause a violent detonation at a combustion ratio even at 4 so this is the flame travel length starting from the spark plug to the other corner so the flame has to travel this much length this is a very long traveling length for the flame so that is why the violent detonation happen even at a combustion ratio of 4 and another thing is it is having a high surface to volume ratio the surface area is high so that means it results in a heat loss so we have already discussed this we have to minimize the total surface area of the combustion chamber but in this t design it is having a high surface area so it will result in high heat loss and another important disadvantage is 
we know that the valves the opening and closing of this valves are taken by the camshaft and cam the action of cam and camshaft are opening and closing these valves so in t type combustion chamber we require two camshaft because each of this valve are on the different sides of the cylinder one is in the left side we can see the inlet valve is in this side while the exhaust valve is in the other side so we have to use a minimum of two camshaft is required so it is a complication in valve controlling we require a minimum two camshafts now we are going to the second type this l head combustion chamber so this is a front view of an l head combustion chamber so it is in the shape of an l this is the top view so this is the exhaust valve here and on the back side of the exhaust valve we have the inlet valve it's not shown in the figure it is on the other side of this figure so what is the major difference between t type and l type so the major difference is here also the both the valves are in the block only in the head we have the spark plug only the cylinder head contains only the spark plug but the advantage is we can use a single camshaft so l head type combustion chamber is in the form of a flat slab extending over piston and valve and only one valve appears in the figure other valve is directly behind it and it is also known as a side valve combustion chamber because both the valves are on one side it is also known as a side valve combustion chamber and the advantage is these valves can be operated by a single camshaft because both are on the same side they are both are in this left side so we can use only a single camshaft and it is easy to lubricate the valve mechanism is very easy to lubricate and one another advantage is the cylinder head can be removed without disturbing the valve gear etc so the, because there is no valves in the cylinder head they are only in the one side you can easily remove this cylinder head and for cleaning purpose etc but the disadvantage the disadvantage of some of the disadvantage of t type is still here that is its turbulence is very very less the air has to take two right angles to turn into the cylinder so you can see here the air coming here is just first it will go in this direction then again go in this direction so it is has to travel a 90 degree turn while entering the cylinder so that will reduce the velocity and turbulence so turbulence will be very very less that is another disadvantage of this and combustion is slow and this thing remains the same high knock tendency due to long flame travel length so here also you can see the flame has to travel starting from this region to the farthest corner here so we have understood the l head combustion chamber is a slight modification of t type the only difference is the valves are on same side and so that we can use a single camshaft but other things remain the same knocking reduced turbulence etc are there so scientists known as ricardo slightly modified this l type combustion chamber so we will see what is his l type compared to the conventional l head type so you can see here this is a figure of ricardo's l type combustion chamber so you can see here instead of sharp corners this combustion chamber is made of a smooth curved surface so what will be the advantage of this and also you can see the more area is concentrated on near the spark plug and away from the spark plug is a narrow region only so it's a modification of l head type combustion chamber and this is the main difference the main body of combustion chamber is concentrated over the valves and spark plug region leaving a slightly restricted passage away from the spark plug so what will be the advantage of this as yes, the first advantage is the flame travel length is reduced so you might be thinking that the length remains the same then how the flame travel length is reduced so compare this with the conventional type theoretically the length is same but 
the effective leaf will more area is concentrated here so the effectively the spark plug is at the center of the combustion chamber so even though in the figure it is in the left side so this is the effective combustion chamber and away from this we have only a narrow region so the advantage is that the flame travel length is reduced since the spark plug is at the center of the effective combustion space an additional turbulence is created during compression stroke so due to this smooth curved surface turbulence will be more compared to the conventional L type combustion chamber and knocking tendency will be reduced compared to the conventional type so with this type of combustion chamber you can use a compression share around 6 is to 1 so in T type and L type we will be using only around 4 is to 1 but in this type we may be able to do a compression ratio of 6 is to 1 now we will go to the third type of combustion chamber that is F head type combustion chamber so these are the two designs of F head shape so it is in the shape of an F almost in the shape of an F and what you have noticed here as in this one valve is in the head so in T type and L type both the valve are in the block that is the bottom part but in F type we have one valve in the head one valve in the block so these are two different designs by two different company so in the F type combustion chamber one valve is in cylinder head while the other is in cylinder block the first figure shows the F type combustion chamber by Rover company and the second figure is F type combustion chamber by Willis Jeep so both are commercially available combustion chamber design of different F head type combustion chambers so the advantage is first one is you can see the combustion space is very very compact so we can use the combustion space is very very compact and another advantage is it allows a large room for inlet valves in the cooler region and hence volumetric efficiency will be high so in this design we can use a large inlet valve so you can see here it is in the head so mostly the inlet valve will be in the head and exhaust valve will be in the block so on the, we can see here this is the exhaust valve in this design but inlet valve is in the head here also inlet valve is in the head so you can use a large inlet valve and a large inlet manifold which will result in high volumetric efficiency that is the important advantage but disadvantage is here also two camshafts are required to actuate the valve so one is in head one is in block so you are, you don't you may not be able to operate the, the single camshaft you require a minimum of two camshaft so that's the disadvantage now we will see the final type combustion chamber the most used combustion chamber in nowadays that is the eye head combustion chamber so it is in the shape of an eye so eye head combustion chamber is also known as overhead valve combustion chamber because both the valve is in the head we call it as overhead valve combustion chamber these are two designs and since 1960 this type of valves has replaced all other side valve combustion chambers and here this is important point both the valves are on the cylinder head so I just think about this in T type we were used both the valves in the block and they are at the different sides in L type also both the valve in the block but they are on the same side when we're coming to F type one health that is the inlet valve is in the head and the exhaust valve in the block and finally reach this I head combustion chamber where both the valves are in the head so that is the evolution of combustion chamber till now and this is a two design so this is known as a bathtub design you can see here the shape combustion chamber is in the shape of a bathtub here so this is known as a bathtub combustion chamber and this is another design of I type that is a wedge design so slightly inclined valves you are using so these are the two most commonly used design of I type bathtub design and wedge design and it has several advantages it combines the advantages of most of the combustion chamber that is you can see the flame travel length is very very less the combustion space is very, very compact hence greater freedom from knock 
so that high compression ratio can be used. So now we can use the compression ratio greater than 10 is to 1. And again, less surface to volume ratio. So you can see here the surface area of this combustion chamber is very, very less. Therefore, less heat loss will be there. So that will result in more efficiency. And again, high volumetric efficiency because both the valves are in the head. We can use a very large valves and manifolds. So volumetric efficiency is high and larger valves can be used. And hot exhaust valve is at the cylinder head. So all the other combustion chamber, the exhaust valve was in the cylinder block. But here we are, it is in the cylinder head. And another advantage is here also we can use a single camshaft. Both the valves are at the head. We can use a single camshaft to control the inlet as well as exhaust valve. So it combines the advantage of all the other three combustion chambers. It is having less flame travel length, more turbulence is there, only one camshaft is required, high volumetric efficiency is there and less surface area is there. So all the advantages are there. That is why we are using this high head type combustion chamber in nowadays. So with this we are stopping this today's session. Thank you.